All right, guys, I just did an unboxing. I just got my uh, hoard in, got my cutter, cut everything, pulled all the plastic. And actually, I filmed an entire uh, unboxing, but apparently I had camera issues where everything was out of focus. And then, believe it or not, my ceiling fan in the next room started smoking. So uh, it kind of ruined everything. So I decided just to go ahead and uh, show you uh, the stuff that I got. I've already opened it out of the box and uh, kind of, you know, just reassemble it. So I'm going to show you everything in the box. Hopefully nothing will burn down while I do this now uh, out of what I got. So um, let's just go ahead and start here uh, with the Liam figure, which is pretty cool. And um, most of the stuff is uh, pretty straightforward on some of these figures, but uh, I won't spend super amount of time on, on uh, anything unless I just really get caught up. Uh, it was just so crazy earlier, the events I had. You get a nice little case for this guy here. And um, and you get um, some really nice detail on these. Uh, yeah, look at that. So that's, this is the Liam figure, front and back. Of course, he comes with this stat card. And um, I'm not going to spend too long. If you see something you want to pause on, you can, and then just look at the stats. But I'm going to do some follow-up videos showing uh, every, like, you know, little thing, breaking it down in detail. But this is mainly just to kind of unboxing what's going on. This is the uh, Sean A. Murray, Sean's own character designs for Zombies side. The box looks like this. It has your character cards in here. And like I said, I'm going to go into those more detail. I'm mainly just going to show the figures. Uh, oh, that's right. This has got this little guard on it. And if I can get this pop off here, has uh, of course, everything has the encounter cards uh, for your guys. So I remember this guy, his name is uh, Lords Innsmouth or something like that. So uh, this guy turned out really good. Sorry if I can hit my focus button again. So yeah, I really like him. And then there's little buddies that came with him. Some more survivors, because all of you know that survivors in this game come in this kind of a, uh, I guess, what do you guys call that? Like kind of a brown color? Mm. Ooh, look at that guy. Love the intensity. I started trying to take up painting a little bit. I started with my uh, Simon uh, Blood Rage Sea Serpent, but I haven't really finished it yet. I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy it. Okay, so those are the four figures that come in this little box here. And I'm just going to kind of slide, like I said, a lot of this. I'll rebox this later. And, um,. This is my uh, buddy Brian actually decided to pick up the No Rest for the Wicked. Although the one thing I didn't notice uh, through my stuff is I think I'm due green dice, but it never showed up. So I guess that could be a complaint that I put in. Or maybe it'll show up later. Who knows? So you get your, uh, of course, guide for that. And look, look at the packing on this sucker. Beautiful, right? There's all the cards up there. We won't worry about that. Like I said, I'm going to spend some other time going through showing you that and let's just start with the big uh daddy of them all which is this amazing dragon that stands bigger than the even normal dragon that comes in the set that i will show you later and these wings pop in real easy here just slide in slide in i mean you guys can paint them and glue them for fun but if you want to fit them back in this box you have to take the wings off each time so you want to make them modular pieces but just look at this guy i mean Look at the detail. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, do you want to face that coming at you? I don't think so. Anyway, that's that guy's super cool. Let me just put that back in a little bit right here. And of course, there's um, the ballista, which I believe this is a second one because one comes in the main box. And then there's a bunch of these little rat swarms, which are really, really cool. Let's see if I can get it to focus right here on this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You can even see, like, there's a little skull, like, right there. And, like, they're on a couple of boxes. These things come right at you. But just really nice detail for this miniature. And there's a bunch of those. And there's three different types of these wraith poses. So I'm going to bring them out. I'm not sure about the stats on each one. What, if they differ or if they have. But look at this. I mean, this just looks great. I know I repeat myself a lot with great, awesome, fantastic. But hey, if it's true, it's true. 
So that's one mold of these ray things. And I'm not sure if they get more powerful or have different stats in the game. But, yeah, look at that. Oop, I just killed it. I think I won. How much experience do I get for that? And there's the back of the figure. I mean, just really nightmarish, you know? Some of these figures in this game. And this is the third mold for the... Uh, wraith looking characters or whatever they're called here Let's See if I can get just a little tighter on the face. So I was trying to Yeah, he's just creepy but cool Okay, and that's actually uh, besides that and uh, uh, Stat cards to go with it. That's pretty much the no rest for the wicked with the um, Insert but the that dragon right is incredible. Okay now we're getting to the main thing which you get for having the main pledge of your $120 that everybody should get, whether you got extras or not. Oh, yeah, that's right, the horde tile. Now, I like <laughs> I like the horse on here, the undead horse, um, the bones. Yeah, I mean, it's just plain on the back, but uh, really sweet-looking tile to, to build up the horde. And a nice little uh, manual here. We won't worry about this, but this just kind of breaks down everything in here. Uh, for each, you know, abomination. It even gives you a setting of how the characters set in for the heroes. So we're about to see all these guys. And on the back, it shows you, um, you know, kind of where everything goes for the bottom layer. So we're going to start with these guys first. Let me move this up. We'll bring that back in a second as I'm knocking everything around. Okay, well, you know, as you know, uh, you're going to get your, uh, everybody's familiar with the fatties, so, but you're going to get your um, additional fatties as you get with the game. You get your additional uh, necromancer. You get your five orc walkers, which everybody knows what they look like. And you get four additional runners. Okay, and then we start getting into um, the heroes. You know what? Let's just go ahead and show you the, the one abomination they put in this box, which was the little bunny abomination. She's so innocent, right? Not hurt anybody. Look at that evil grin. So, the, okay. Well, I'll have to find the bunny abomination later. But anyway, you get the two different molds on the uh, the fatty bursters. And uh, I'm trying to remember the rules. There might have been something in the, one of the other editions. But these are the two different molds on the the fatty bur Or is that the same one? No, no. The, the, yeah, one's pointing, one's grabbing. All right. Okay. So anyway, those are the those are the. You know, so you get four of those, two of each mold. I might not even be setting them in right, but I can fix that later. I'll just pretend like I know what I'm doing because that's what I've been doing my whole life. And then, of course, you get, I think this one's called Count Tremere or Tremaine. I'm trying to remember that one. But a really nice sculpt on that. I love the the, the lantern that he's carrying. Or it could be she. Who knows? Cool. I love that guy. Let's see what we got here. And we got, oh, check out this one. This one's doing a wicked dance or casting a spell. Probably saying, buy more money. Look at that hand bent over. I wonder if that's, uh, oh, it looks like it's broken. Like maybe on purpose. That's weird. But anyway, um, if you're an adjuster, you can. All right, now let's get into the heroes. Or as I think the game likes to call them, survivors. So I'm not sure about all the names yet. But like I said, I'm going to do a detailed video later uh, describing each hero and their character card. Um, which will take me a little bit of time, but be patient. I'm just doing this one first because sharing the excitement with you. Um, the nice thing is I don't really smell the smoke anymore. Okay, there it is. Coming at you like that with that cape. I really like that. Very cool. Very cool. All right, we've got the pugilist here, or a pummeler. I guess depends on how you want to call this, this character. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go from this way, I guess. Let's see. I got this guy right here. Like he's trying to move some stuff around. Looks like a lot of little spell casters and stuff. Who knows what their abilities are? Well, but that's something we're going to discuss, like I said, in upcoming video. Check this guy out. It's like Gandalf the Second or something. Got his robes are flying. Look at that. For you people out there that are painters, you're probably going to love this guy. Or, or maybe not with the how much detail you have to go on it a little components on his thing there yeah liking that 
What do we got here? Oh, yeah. This is serious. I like he's got the about ready to pull the sword out of the back. The sword has a little, um, that's what it looks like on the back there. Yeah. Halfway in and out of the sheath. You don't see that too often. I mean, sometimes you'll see figures with it on it, but never like halfway pulled in and out. So that's a pretty cool pose. Another caped crusader here. Do, 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 do. Looks like some sort of fur or mane. Pardon me, I got my little cheaters on, but sometimes, like today, I may have forgot to wipe them off, so I may not be seeing as much detail as you, or is this camera's picking up? Now, you got to love the short people, right, with the, the with the hammers. I'm assuming that's the dwarven kind here. Yeah, this guy ain't playing around. Anybody with a dwarven hammer has got to be awesome. All right, and then talk about hammers. This guy has got a mace or something. Let's see. Yeah, look, this little kid's got a mace. Nice little shield. I said kid, but who knows? You know, I'll look at that. We'll figure that out all on the detail cards later, but well, Scope, I like that. Probably going to hear that a lot from me because I like all these guys. Look at this. It's like he decided to leave the Empire and join the Rebellion. Dual wielder right here. You know, you're not playing with that. So many heroes, so little time. Can you play them all? See, this guy looks almost like a bard or something. But he's uh, got his little dual uh, daggers. Maybe he's more like a rogue. Sorry, I like use D&D terms. And these figures you can use easily if you wanted to in a D&D game. I could probably do an entire just D&D adventure assigning, you know, 5th edition D stats to them. and Or if you're a Pathfinder fan, you could do that too and use the characters. Oh, yeah, look at that. Some sort of chain mail. Nice little pose. This heroine. I like how that uh, we present everything. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. A little mini Wolverine or something. Look at, look at that. Let's see if I can get a good focus. Yeah, look at that. I should have made a little X for his X-Men thing. It's, it's kind of shameful, but I just finally watched Logan, uh, which I loved. A lot of people, I guess, had mixed reviews on it, but I thought the story was really good. And I like seeing uh, Charles Xavier kind of having to deal with his problems and everything. This looks like another person from the nunnery. Or the little house of the prairie that's converted into a crossbow specialist. You know, when it comes to fighting the horde, all you really need is a heart and the will to do it. This is nice. Look at that buckler. This little cape. Oh, yeah. This looks like a guy that came out off the farm or something. He's like, I'm going to get things done. That's a little dagger on the back. That's nice. Lifting his foot up. He's slightly being very cautious moving around. I wonder as a sculptor like what they did. I think this is the character they may have like said that was kind of like Prince or something. I don't know, but check out that hair. I mean, well, first of all, check out, sorry about bumping the camera, all the little things hanging off of this guy here. Look at all this on the back. But but mainly, look at that hair. Look at that. I'm going to have to paint that orange like a cheese ball. That'd be awesome. Okay, so, oh, is this a knight from Knee? It looks like one of the Monty Python knights, but this guy is a great pose. I wouldn't mind having an entire set of figures of this guy. Just like as a guard that you have to try to get across. Good. Oh, man. This guy. Well, look at this sword. Got some runes or something on it there. I like all his um, detail he has, too. Yeah, that's nice. Whew, so many heroes. So little time. What can we do? What? Look at that. Double-sided axe. Well, the one side's like a, a spiked up here. This guy looks like he could give Conan a, or Conan a run for his money. Even his grip's got the... Wow. This is insane. Look at the muscles. This dude is ripped. Get him some, get him some duct tape. He's so ripped. What else do we got going on here? Oh, man. Look at this. I love this pose. I might have to uh, use a little, that little uh, miniature trick to uh, straighten out the... Um, Lou, sorry, I'm not really getting a focus on the character there. Let me try this one more time. I don't know why they're... There we go. That's what I'm trying to do right there. 
Yeah, I like that detail. She's serious. The hair flipping up. Oh, look. Nice cape wavy. Good detail on the on the shield. Going down to the boot. Yeah, I'm really liking that pose. It's really cool. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, this guy looks serious too. He looks like I used to collect money from you, taxes from the villagers, but now I've become a good guy by killing the horde. Can't trust them, filthy zombie orcs. Well, you can trust them, I guess, as far as you could throw them. This guy, I just came down from the monastery. I heard you guys needed some help. Yeah, I'm liking that too. Yeah, good, good. Who we got here? Oh man, look at this guy's pose. I remember when uh, I think fifth edition just came out, maybe fourth edition of D and D. There's a uh, one one of the starting classes is a rogue that holds the bow in this position like that. And I've always liked that pose. I still got it somewhere. But yeah, look at that. I like that. The arrows just hanging off the hip or whatever. Sweet. And then we got here, we got Dr. Strange. Oh, sorry. We got we got somebody looks like they're casting a spell and about to take off. He's got the one foot lifted like he's ready to take off somewhere. Into that scepter is cool. Man, his armor is really nice. Kind of like that padded, padded armor. You don't see that expressed a lot. In fact, I think, is that the first one we've seen like that? All right. Here's someone keeping it tight. They're keeping their buckler back. And then they're keeping it, and they're about to like to do a backhand with that sword. You don't want to be a part of that, people. What else we got going on here? Oh, yeah. There we go. Another another helmed guy. This is uh, Iron Man, I think, because they made the little, I think this is like, because a lot of these they did as a fun uh, play on the jokes, but you see the little triangles. Gosh, sorry about knocking that camera around, guys. Um, yeah, but that's, that's really cool, the Iron Man one. Definitely going to have to keep that one in the collection. And then we got Storm. Just kidding. Um, look at this girl, though. She's ready. To, she's a leaper, and she's got her little uh, fancy. Is that a, yeah, that's a long one. That looks like she came from the sea or something. This is Aquaman's wife, I guess, out of the new one. Jason Momoa. Looks like you got a date. Okay, who else we got here? Okay. Oh, yeah, I think this is one of the ones they used in one of the original covers. Boy, she looks angry, doesn't she? She's probably a redhead. She looks angry. Just kidding. No offense to redheads out there. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's good. Nice looking figure. Okay. Look at this guy. Okay, this is the last guy in this box, but this guy looks like he was, um, I don't know, almost like you would say like an anime character. You know, because of that tall, slender frame and weapons that are just so huge that they're trying to carry around all the time a lot of capes on these people this time all right so anyway that's the top part so we're halfway through that box now we get into the bottom part and here's all the um here's all the hero cards by the way and like i said i'm going to break down and then start with iron man on that one obviously i'll move this over I'll pull this out slide this up <sighs> Yep, and here we go. And the last bits of goodness. And, of course, we got all the um, cards and stuff over here. But let's just go ahead and start with some of the awesome stuff, which is, I think this guy's Fenton or Fintron or Fenton, the giant. But as um, far as I know, this guy is a playable character. So look out. Oh, my gosh. This guy looks like he could actually belong in my Blood Rage box. Maybe I'll replace one of the giants with him. And there, that might be fun as an alternate. I just love giants. They're awesome. Okay, and of course the ballista. I won't bring it out. You've already seen that. We got this. Uh, these are the abominations because there's a bunch of abominations that you get. This guy looks like he's been working out, lifting a lot of villagers into his mouth and eating them. Or converting the zombies. Almost, you know, he almost reminds me of the Resident Evil early renditions, like Resident Evil 3 with the ones with the spikes in his back. You guys remember that game or not? Check out this guy. He's got two heads, four tentacles. I don't even know what's going on here. 
Looks like he's had a bad day. In the back, look at those ridges. And he's got the foot. Whew, gosh. I want to look about like I forgot what this guy's called, but like I said, I'm gonna go over all these. I'm gonna go over all these figures again so we all know. And then of course here's your uh undead unicorn abomination. These are all abominations. And um wow. I mean just did I say wow because I really mean wow, this just looks great. Even the 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 from the horn to the tail and everything in between. Hmm, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we got this guy right. I think there were two of these actually. Oh, this one was a little different sculpt. This guy has the mouth open. Looks like something's in his mouth. What's in his mouth? Another person? Another mouth inside the mouth? I think it comes from aliens or something. That is, that stuff. That's just, that's the stuff of nightmares, people. I gotta sleep tonight. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Something went wrong in the labs, people. Something went wrong in the labs. I don't know. This is like uh, Zombicide meets Rick and Morty or something. That's crazy. Crazy good. Oh, that's right. In the very bottom here, uh, you get your second abomination with the, um, with the set. So, you know, you already got one of these, but you get another one. All right. So now we're going to go with the guy with the big arms. Look at him, he's it's cool. Oh, dude. It looks like somebody said, hey, I'm going to try to take one of those funny, oh, let me, sorry about that, guys. Let me try to, there we go. One of those funny Disney characters, but then I'm going to make him scary. You know, from when the old, uh, you know, his head almost looks like that Fortescue character from PS1 years ago. Well, you definitely don't want to mess with abominations. They're bad news. This guy's a little bulker. You yeah, I hit the gym a lot. I pick things up. I put things down. Look at the, look at the mouth. The 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 lower, uh, at jutting out of his bottom jaw, these two massive tusk teeth. Great scars on the belly. He's wearing semi armor. Yeah, good. I, mean, I can't wait to read about all these guys. Oh, is this a minotaur? I love minotaurs. Undead minotaur. Yes. If not, I'm calling him a Minotaur anyway, because that's just too cool. I'm trying to focus up on that arm a little bit. Looking at the detail. Okay, I won't go crazy. I, I kind of have a Minotaur thing, so just forgive me, people. All right. And second to last one is the big other giant. This this guy must be the, you know, the other giant's brother that's a hero. There's probably a, a quest. I'm just making this all up. I don't know. It might be, but um, it would be incentive for you to play that one hero. Yes. Giants are awesome. Only person who doesn't like giants? Jack. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk. All right. Well, folks, let's get down to the last guy here, which is the main dragon that comes in the the horde box set with the broken horn up top. Well, you know what? Let's assemble his wings. I'm sorry. You guys want the full effect, don't you? Let me see. I'm going to show you how this goes. Looks like that goes in pretty easy there. These are all pretty good. Like I said, I don't know. You you can probably use some glue if you want to keep it out, but then if you do that, you won't be able to disassemble them as easy. Let's get to kind of push them in. Oh, there you go. Now... Now you've done it. Now you've gone and done it. Let's see what these wings look like from the back side. I don't know if they're going to hold in while I'm flipping it around, but it's a really easy adjustment. If yours don't snap in super easy, which these do, but I could tell I might need to thicken up one of the inserts just to make this nicer. But look at the tail and the claw talons. Let's see if I can get a little zoom on the chest there. Yeah, this is just a really good looking miniature wow so anyway that's everything uh sorry I, I flubbed the first video and i had to do it this way but it was probably a lot quicker this way anyway um but like i said i'm going to be making preview uh excuse me more videos uh with the cards and i'm just gonna like try to do maybe five or six at a time i'll figure out the format for it with um what which each card represents and what their abilities are uh thanks for watching my friends and we'll catch you next time on the dice matrix